hello guys welcome back in this video we will be solving one of the important question in pi spark okay so the question is that you know you can see we have id and name column present and we have some rows in it now you can see in the name column uh, this is the first name you know this saga is the first name and you can assume that you know second name is my I mean the after hyphen this is my second name okay likewise you know we have Alex and John here we have John and Cena and then Kim and Joe so but you can see in the third row right in the third row we do not have hyphen over here now the task is that we need to create uh, two columns that is first name and second name or we can say last name from this name column so how we can do that okay so you might be thinking hey this is a pretty straight uh, uh, pretty straight question we can you know split this with hyphen and then we can work work right but this is not true okay this is not true so uh, okay let me write down the code and then we will you know think of it how we can do so first what we can do we can write select uh, let's say I'm just selecting all cool even though if you, you do not need id we can you know remove that id column and with column with column uh, let's say first name no no let me just write here new first and we have one function called regular reg, regex regex p underscore replace okay so what we are going to do you can see in regular like xp underscore replace we have first parameter is string that is a column name and then pattern and then repla replacement okay so what we can do we can we can write here that column name okay name and uh, here i have to pass the pattern okay so pattern will be you know this and this i'm gonna replace with empty so that you know i can I can uh, see now we have two things now we have two things either I can replace this hyphen or I can replace this space with hyphen okay we can go with any any of the approaches cool here actually I have to pass now you can see it is correct right or if I pass like this and if I write like this then we'll see what will happen you'll see now we have this uh, hyphen hyphen right now we can simply use here a split function right so if I use here a split then you will see oh just a minute okay this is one and then this is one string and here i have to pass the pattern also right the pattern will be this so here i am saying that is split with this hyphen now you can see this is big broken into two parts two two, two parts this is sagar prajapati alex john so 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 right now i can make this as first column or you know let let it be new name and here i can create I can create with column new column right saying that first name and uh, we have new name right so we can use this call of not call also I can use df dot this of zero and then with column again I can use and uh, this is the last name so df dot new name of one and let me just uh, go to edit button and format the cell cool if i run this then you will see okay something happened column with column this ends over here right data frame object has no attribute new name oh that's true 
we do not have a new name right so i can use here call and here i can use call again then you can see we are ha we have this record okay now i do not need here name and new name so what i can do i can use drop statement drop drop function not a statement to drop these columns right so what are the columns are columns are name call of what new underscore name and make sure and should be small and make sure to you uh, know uh, make sure to import to write this command py spark dot sql dot functions import star or you know you, you can specify the name of the function which you are going to use okay so it is up to you so ideally we should specify the functions name right now it is working now see we have split it now you can consider one another scenario here that uh, you know it is decided that from the source itself you know from the source it source itself they will provide the data in the name column with hyphen okay there should not be any space or vice versa so we can we we can think of they i mean the source team has decided that they will provide you the data of this name column uh with spaces right sagar prajapati alex john john cena kim joe but you you saw you observed that hey there is some you know uh, some hyphen in between then you have to tell them ki hey so team you have given us the wrong data kindly correct your data okay so how you can do that also uh yeah that's a nice question even then we'll have to think of it okay let's try i'll just write again this statement even though that's not needed call create a new column let's say new underscore name and here we have one function regular hey regular extract okay i'm just thinking of it regular extract okay cool so if i just write down here uh, df dot name comma df dot name comma and what is the name column this is the name right and this is sagar prajapati here we have hyphen so i am saying this should be okay so if i get a pattern then it means okay so in regular extract here we need to pass the pattern correct so what what is the pattern i am i am expecting i am expecting alphabets hyphen not hyphen i mean alphabets space then alphabets right so i can write the pattern over here saying that hey a is small z capital a to capital z cool and then this can be plus because one time it should be present if i put here a star it means zero or more or plus means at least one and more multiple times okay and then i am saying there should be one space cool and again i am saying the same thing let's say this can be the case that you know uh, we have only uh, only first name in some of the cases then also this can be the error right we need both if we are not receiving both it means there is some error in the source side and here since okay it is ready i'll have to pass here first i'll pass one and then we'll see what is what is happening okay to so, display of this to this now you can see if oh 
if I have written over here, you know, uh, like this, let me run this again. You can see we have John and Cena, it came over here, but we did not receive here Alex underscore John, right? Because there, there is no pattern matching. So it means, what does it mean that hey, new name sh can, should not be null? Right, new name should not, this, this new column should not be null. If it is coming null, it means there is some error in the existing or the, you know, or the derived on the base column, right? So if I make this, if I store this into one new data frame and then I can write df dot select of star, then filter call use kar sakte hai. yes I can use call new underscore name is not null is not null no is null is null and this should be count count star or count like this only right I can store this into uh, let's say here only right and if I just do display of df1 I mean no need to do display here I am getting 0 okay so is null filter column is null so why I am getting here 0 if I remove this then we'll see we should receive some some values right new name is null okay if i just write here not null then we'll see now we can see this data new underscore name so this is this is not null then okay this is not null this is not null this is like empty string okay yeah sorry my bad i was doing uh, something wrong now you can see you know we got this output now if now i'll just count it even though i do not need every column right i can go with the new name column why to go with multiple columns right i can go with the single column now i can see here this df1 value is uh, 2 so i can say if it is 0 now i'll write here code if this is 0 or uh, if it is 0 then we'll say no if it is 0 see i can write like this if this 0 0 abhi now it is coming positive number so it goes into the two two statement okay so i can write uh, print you know uh, name column is not present in correct format right else I can go with I can just do pass right or I can write some message over here uh, name column is present in correct format right now see even though if I run this job right it will not I'm um, suppose I am I have written some statement let's say print hello here and if I run the job then you will see this command is also running even though uh, you know uh, uh, even though our check 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 is failed right is I mean is not present in correct format right so here what we can do if this I can raise 
there is exception okay saying this now you can see it filled here right now if i run all then you will see this command is skipped it means if the sourcing if the source is not present in a correct format then we'll skip our uh, next commands right we do not need to run uh, next commands all uh, uh, right if 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 we i mean if there is some error in the dependent uh, commands itself so this is the way you know how we can achieve this solution maybe you have a better better way to solve this problem right so you can post your answers in the comment box and uh, yeah thank you i hope you have understood i will give this link this uh, data set in the description box then you can go and check it out so guys this is my website and here i have uh, launched a new course which is data big spy spark real time scenarios interview question series so you can see already 44 members have enrolled in this course and here i upload videos like like i mean the question which i solved uh, some more advanced question series you know uh, questions i solve over here and upload upload here then you can see like you know i have uploaded uh, this first module where uh, the questions are, are, are on csv file types then miscellaneous interview question if i click on it then how to optimize pi spark udf solve the question using broadcast variable then how to incremental load and full load in spark sql real time scenario questions on cache in persist then call data frame in another notebook this is uh, uh, i mean this was asked in one of the interview right and then we have python and PySpark framework so i have you know created here two videos and then we have problem solving questions here also we have two videos and in the, if i go to the first module then we are having like one two three three videos all uh, available over here you know i will try to complete this uh, this course by end of this month and i will be you now there will be around uh, 20 25 videos right and it's totally depend on the you know uh, python code some some tip and tricks on the pi spark and python so i will be preparing uh, those questions here and uh, um, i'm i'm and uploading questions here if you are if you have liked my videos or the youtube videos or if you want to you know build something uniquely unique in your the company right or if you want to crack interviews then definitely this course will help you a lot so yeah that's it for today's video i hope you understood thank you bye bye